SpaceX has shaken up the space industry. Founded by Elon Musk, the company is known for its bold innovations. One of their most significant achievements is the development of reusable rockets. The Falcon 9, with its ability to land back on Earth after launching payloads into orbit, has changed the game. Now, SpaceX is setting its sights even higher with Starship. Starship represents a giant leap forward in space travel, designed to carry humans and cargo to Mars and beyond. This reusability is key to SpaceX's goal of reducing the cost of space travel dramatically. SpaceX is not just launching rockets, they are launching a new era of space exploration. Starship is not just another rocket, it's a game-changer in space exploration. This fully reusable system is designed to ferry both crew and cargo to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship is composed of two primary components, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft itself. The Super Heavy is a colossal first-stage booster designed to lift Starship off the launch pad and into the Earth's atmosphere. Once Starship reaches a certain altitude, the Super Heavy separates and returns to Earth, landing vertically on a designated landing pad. The Starship spacecraft, perched atop the Super Heavy, continues its journey into space. SpaceX has adopted an iterative design philosophy, constantly testing and refining the spacecraft's systems. This relentless pursuit of progress is driving SpaceX closer to its goal of making life multiplanetary. SpaceX is no stranger to ambitious goals, and the development of Starship has been no different. The journey has been marked by both triumphs and spectacular failures, with each test flight providing valuable data. Early test flights of Starship prototypes dubbed Starhoppers and SN, serial number vehicles, were crucial steps in the spacecraft's development. While some test flights achieved their objectives, others ended in fiery explosions. These incidents, though visually dramatic, were not considered failures by SpaceX. Instead, they were viewed as opportunities to gather critical data and identify areas for improvement. One of the most significant milestones in Starship's development was the successful high-altitude flight and landing of the SN-15 prototype. The successful flight and landing of SN-15 provided SpaceX with a wealth of data and confidence in the spacecraft's design. Each flight, whether it ends in a triumphant landing or a fiery crash, brings SpaceX one step closer to achieving its ambitious goals. Imagine a giant robotic arm towering over the launch pad, ready to catch a rocket as it returns from space. That's exactly what SpaceX envisions with Mechazilla, their innovative launch tower designed to catch Starship upon its return to Earth. This system is a key component of SpaceX's plan to make Starship fully reusable, streamlining the launch and recovery process. The tower is equipped with massive arms designed to grapple and secure both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft. As the booster or spacecraft descends back to Earth, Mechazilla's arms will reach out, capturing it mid-air and gently lowering it onto the launch mount. This method of recovery eliminates the need for the booster or spacecraft to use its own fuel for landing, significantly increasing efficiency and reducing the turnaround time between launches. Mechazilla represents SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. With Mechazilla, SpaceX is not just launching rockets, they are launching a new era of space travel characterized by efficiency, reusability, and unprecedented accessibility. While Mechazilla represents SpaceX's land-based recovery solution, the company has already mastered the art of landing rockets at sea using autonomous drone ships. These ships, affectionately named Of Course I Still Love You and Just Read the Instructions, have become iconic symbols of SpaceX's innovative approach to rocket recovery. Stationed in the ocean, these drone ships serve as mobile landing pads for Falcon 9 boosters, and in the future, Starship. The entire landing process is autonomous, with the drone ship guiding the rocket to a safe touchdown. The use of drone ships offers several advantages for rocket recovery, including a larger safety buffer and flexibility in landing locations. The successful development and operation of SpaceX's drone ship landing system is a testament to the company's engineering prowess and its commitment to reusability. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space travel with Starship, drone ships will continue to play a vital role in recovering these reusable spacecraft, enabling more frequent and ambitious missions to destinations beyond Earth. SpaceX faces a critical decision with Starship when to use Mechazilla for land-based landings and when to rely on drone ships for ocean landings. Each approach has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, and selecting the right method for a particular mission depends on a variety of factors. Mechazilla, with its ability to catch rockets out of the sky, offers unparalleled efficiency for rapid reusability. 
by eliminating the need for Starship to use its own fuel for landing, Mechazilla significantly reduces the turnaround time between launches. Drone ship landings, on the other hand, offer greater flexibility in terms of launch trajectories and landing locations. Landing at sea provides a larger safety buffer, minimizing risk to populated areas. SpaceX will likely employ a combination of both methods, depending on the specific requirements of each mission. The company's ability to leverage both land-based and sea-based recovery options highlights its adaptability and its commitment to maximizing the efficiency and reusability of its spacecraft. SpaceX's ambitions extend far beyond Earth's orbit. The company envisions a future where Starship provides point-to-point -point transportation on Earth, enabling rapid travel between any two points on the globe. This ambitious goal requires a global network of landing sites both on land and at sea to accommodate Starship's unique capabilities. On land, SpaceX will need to identify suitable locations for Starship landing pads. These locations must meet stringent safety requirements, considering factors such as population density, proximity to airports, and environmental impact. At sea, SpaceX has greater flexibility in establishing landing sites. Drone ships can be positioned in international waters, minimizing regulatory hurdles. Establishing a global network of landing sites is crucial to realizing SpaceX's vision of point-to-point -point transportation. Landing a rocket on a platform at sea is a remarkable feat of engineering, but it comes with inherent challenges. The ocean is a dynamic and unpredictable environment, with waves, wind, and weather constantly in flux. SpaceX has gained valuable experience with its drone ship landings of Falcon 9 boosters, but Starship, with its larger size and unique design, presents a new set of hurdles to overcome. One of the primary challenges is maintaining the stability of the drone ship during landing. SpaceX has equipped its drone ships with sophisticated systems to counteract these motions, using GPS data and powerful thrusters to maintain a stable platform, even in rough seas. Another challenge is ensuring the structural integrity of both the spacecraft and the drone ship during landing. Despite these challenges, the advantages of ocean landings, such as increased safety buffers and greater flexibility in landing locations, make it a valuable approach for SpaceX. As SpaceX continues to refine its technologies and procedures, ocean landings will play a vital role in enabling the company's ambitious plans for point-to-point -point transportation and deep space exploration. Landing a spacecraft safely, whether on land or at sea, requires overcoming immense technical challenges. One of the most critical aspects is protecting the spacecraft from the intense heat generated during atmospheric re-entry. SpaceX has developed an innovative heat shield system for Starship, utilizing hexagonal tiles made of a high-temperature ceramic material. Beyond the heat shield, Starship's structure itself must be incredibly strong and lightweight to withstand the stresses of launch, spaceflight, and landing. SpaceX is using stainless steel for Starship's primary structure, a material known for its strength, durability, and resistance to extreme temperatures. The development of Starship's heat shield and structural components represents a remarkable feat of engineering. SpaceX's ambitions extend far beyond simply reaching orbit. The company envisions a future where Starship revolutionizes transportation, not just between Earth and space but also here on Earth. Imagine boarding a Starship in New York and arriving in Tokyo an hour later. This is the promise of point-to-point -point travel, a concept SpaceX aims to make a reality. But SpaceX's ultimate goal for Starship lies beyond Earth. The company aims to establish a permanent human presence on Mars, and Starship is the key to achieving this ambitious goal. Starship could transport the necessary equipment, supplies, and most importantly, people to build a new home for humanity on Mars. SpaceX stands at the forefront of a new era of space exploration characterized by ambition and innovation. Their goal is to make humanity a multi-planetary species with groundbreaking technologies like Starship. Starship can transport crew and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Its innovative, reusable design aims to revolutionize space travel. SpaceX is laying the foundation for humanity to explore new worlds. The challenges are significant, but SpaceX's track record suggests they are well-equipped. SpaceX's journey is a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. With each milestone, SpaceX inspires future generations to dream bigger and explore the cosmos. The future of space travel is here and SpaceX is leading the way.